Hello. So I'm doing an update on my freebie green mushroom coral. This is one that came literally growing on the shell of a hermit crab that I bought for my tank. Um, the hermit crab, of course, has moved out, moved on, and in point of fact, you can actually see the shell it originally came in on. And so we just decided to put it up here on this rock work. We chose this because this area has been absolutely terrible for corals. Um, so we figured we put kind of the one coral in there that basically is, you know, bulletproof. <laughs> so, um, so of course we chose the mushroom to go down here and it's been very slow growth. Um, so this area of my tank, I don't know if it's, you know, just a question of lighting. It just doesn't get, um, get as quiet as much, you know, par intensity that it needs. Um, but either way, this area has been a terrible spot for corals. But we wanted something there, so we w figured we'd just uh, go ahead and put this mushroom there. Got it for free, so, you know, nothing really lost if anything happened. But it actually has grown. It's just been very slow growing. Um, and it has moved off the shell and actually onto the rock work here. But it hasn't, you know, spread or really grown out and gone crazy like the other mushrooms that I have uh, that I periodically have to go in and scrape and take into my local fish store. So, um, but anyway, you know, that's just kind of a growth update for that freebie that I got that came in on the shell. It's, um, hard to see from here. The camera is going to show it here. It's kind of a bluish color. Although if I put it up a little bit closer there, there you go. That's better. You can kind of see some of that greenish color in there a little bit, maybe of a kind of lighter teal. And, uh, so I've got one of these that's teal. I've got the big red guy up here now that's just turned into an absolute monster and of course has put out some new heads i've even taken a couple heads out and taken them to my local fish store for trade-in and then of course i've got the uh, purple guy over here that once again took a bunch of heads off of that and took it into my local fish store for trade-in but uh so anyway so yeah i've you know i've got a <laughs> i've got a green a red and a blue and uh you know so I'm kind of covering the different colors of the spectrum with these guys. But uh, anyway, as I said, just really slow growth. But as I said, this is probably the worst spot in my tank for growing coral. Uh, I don't have anywhere near the problems. Even if I just move it up a little bit to some of these other spots, um, the corals just do a lot better. So um, perfect coral to put in this spot, just since it's kind of a graveyard for corals. But... Um, it's just, it's, you know, it hasn't really, uh, you know, gone crazy or grown really super fast, but, um, on the flip side, you know, it also hasn't, you know, withered and died or anything like that. It is growing. It's just slow and I'm perfectly okay with that because mushrooms have a tendency to <laughs> grow really fast and overrun things if you're not careful. Um, so I think that's kind of the perfect solution for this area. It adds a, a coral down there to make it so it's not just bare rock work. And, uh, well, at the same time, kind of keeping it in check so that it doesn't grow too fast. So anyway, that's all I've got. And thanks for watching.